Adonis Stevenson versus Thomas Top Dog Williams Jr. is happening this Friday night on Spike. And I want to do a quick preview of the fight because this could be a sneaky fight. It has the possibility. Um, and first, let me say this. Stevenson is one of... He's like the poster boy of fighters who are just coasting and not really... Um, not really ambitious. Let's let's keep it at that. Um, 38 years old, so he is up there in age. And since he beat Chad Dawson, he he hasn't really done any much. Done much. He beat Bello. He beat Fonfera in a tough fight. Other than that, he he's not, you know, looking to fight or calling calling out Kovalev. Or I mean, they do their little beef here and there online. But he's not going out of his way to get a Kovalev fight. He's not going out of his way to call out Andre Ward, who has entered the division. He's not fighting. Um, looking to fight guys in the top five in in this fight he's fighting a guy who on box rec is on the outside of the top 10 at number 11 um so people should be a little frustrated once again with adonis stevenson that being said um thomas williams jr at the same time he he's a question mark as well And, and guys like that can be tricky because you don't know which Thomas Williams Jr. is going to show up. Is it going to be the guy who showed up against Campillo and quit on his stool? Or is it going to be the guy who went into a firefight with Edwin Rodriguez, went balls to the wall, caught some big shots, and then threw bigger ones back and knocked Edwin Rodriguez out cold? I mean, Rodriguez was out completely cold. Williams Jr. has been more active. I mean, that fight was, what, only a month and a half, two months ago, something like that, so... He's bouncing back real quick. Um, I'm looking at the betting odds for this fight, and there's more value in Williams Jr. if you're a betting man because you're not going to get much money off of off of um, uh, Stevenson with the odds. But Roger, uh, Williams Jr. is a plus 450, so you might want to throw down a little bit of money because um, there's more value there on Williams Jr. if, if he pulls off the upset. Um, Adonis Stevenson is always a question mark because, yes, I mean, the guy is an explosive fighter, really good offensive fighter, a lot of power. You saw that in the Chad Dawson fight. But he hasn't been extremely active. I mean, he's been somewhat active. Um, but he hasn't been active against top opposition. Like I said, he, he doesn't seem too ambitious. He, go, he fights in lulls. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll be explosive on offense, and then he'll go into a lull. Um, he gives fighters an opportunity to get into fights, I guess is what I'm saying. And if Williams Jr. comes out balls to the wall like he did against Campillo, yeah, I mean, he, he, he runs the risk of catching a big shot and getting it knocked out in the first round. But Stevenson's chin isn't the greatest either. Okay, so what if Williams Jr. catches him with a big shot early? And that's what he's got to do. I don't see him sustaining... Um, throughout the fight, from what I've seen of him in the past, um, seems to be a guy who who can fade or get discouraged in there, especially against a guy like Stevenson who can punch. So he's got to come out early, fast, and if he does that, he gives himself a shot because Stevenson. Um, I don't know. There's still even even this late in, the, in his career with the so so-called established fighter. There are still a lot of question marks with Stevenson. The chin, the age that this guy, can't, he's 38 years old. And yes, he's only been a pro for 10 years. He doesn't have all that many fights. But he's still 38. He's still 38 years old. And like I said, he doesn't look too interested in being great. He doesn't look all that interested sometimes at some points in fights where he fights and lulls. So if you're, you're facing a young, hungry guy who is looking to prove to people that, hey, Maybe I am this guy you thought I was in 2010, 2011 when I first came into the game. You know, I, I disappointed you in 2014 against Campillo, but this is my shot. All right, so if you're fighting a young, hungry fighter who can punch, and Williams Jr. can punch, and he's hungry, and you don't come out, you don't show up, you fight in lulls, 
it can get dangerous for you. And that's why there's a little bit of value for Williams Jr. at plus 450, plus 475 from what I've seen. Um, people can be underrating Williams Jr. here and maybe overrating Stevenson a little bit. Uh, so this could get this is something to watch. This could get interesting. I'd still pick Stevenson by stoppage. That's what my brain would tell me, but my instincts tell me that this could be a dicey fight for Stevenson because um, maybe he's not going to show up with his A game. Maybe he'll overlook this, and Williams Jr. will not. That being said, if Stevenson catches him with something early, this could be a quick night because Williams Jr., like I said, he could get discouraged. He's shown that in the past and uh, quit on his stool again, but we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a fun fight. I think this will be a fun fight.